today we are exploring a collection of classic cars which have been left in this barn for a very long time. Porsche 924. I cannot believe we have just found this MG. Volkswagen Golf GTI. Metro GTA. Just found a Rolls Royce. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. As you can see, Lily is with me today. You haven't seen Lily for a long time. Today we've come to have a look at a bar which is full of classic cars. And I'm told there's some really, really cool cars here. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. So apparently it's up in this direction. This is an old road or something which used to lead to it. So uh, let's take a little walk up here. All right, Lily. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, so hopefully we should see something car and barn related soon. Okay guys, so we are now approaching this location. And as you can see, we are greeted with a few overgrown vehicles. A couple of vans here, an old LDV just here. And a lot of stinging nettles. Oh, and I'm actually carrying Lily through here at the moment because um, <laughs> there's absolutely no way she'd be able to walk through all of this. But once we get into a clearer area, I'll be able to put her back down again. I've got a little metro there, look. Peugeot 205. Got another Saab, look, you can barely see that. And look at this. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I think that's a Citroen. Citroen Estate. God, there is literally cars everywhere. I think there's even cars buried under some of that, you know. <laughs> a couple of Jags down there. There's an XK8 just here. It looks like that was being stripped for parts. Oh God, there's another one down there too. Oh my God. Now before I go too far down that way, I just want to have a quick look up here and see if we're going to be missing anything. Oh, yeah, we've got an old Morris there. Oh, you're kidding me. There's a Metro GTA, oh my God. Oh my God. That is crazy, what on earth is that doing here? That is a super, super rare car now. That is a really, really rare car. Wow, I cannot believe that's here. Okay, I'm just gonna climb down here. God, there is a lot of stuff here. There is a hell of a lot of stuff. Look at this old van. How long that's been parked there for? Uh, okay, so maybe it was worth the walk up here. Look at this, Ford Sierra XR 4x4. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
I'm sorry, but how long has this been parked here for? I mean, look where it's come in from. Those gates haven't been opened in years. Oh my God, look at it. It's so crazy, so crazy. Okay guys, let's um, walk back down this way. Go and see what other incredible finds we can discover here today. Okay guys, so we're just gonna have a quick look at these cars here. And then we're gonna go and have a look inside this huge barn here, which is very obvious, hasn't been opened <laughs> in a very, very long time. Oh my God. Okay, so we have a Jaguar XK8 here. God, you can barely see it. Next to that is a Volkswagen Golf. Is it a GTI? It could be a GTI. We've got another Jaguar XK8 buried behind this little Peugeot. Oh my God. There is just one classic after another. There's another Peugeot 205 down there. Full transit parked just in front of it. And I believe, oh, there's loads. It is literally never ending. Got an old Land Rover here. That's become part of nature now that. We've actually got um, trees and plants growing inside of it. We've got a little MG here. You can literally just see the front end of the car. Couldn't even see it when I walked past it. There's another Sarblet buried in there. God, how long have these cars been here for? Whoever owns these cars, I mean, clearly hasn't got any interest in these ones outside or potentially the ones that are in there. It's just madness, it really is madness. Right, let's, um, let's go through this way. Oh my God, this is crazy. Look, this Jaguar was last taxed in 2012. It was a 306. I quite like the 306s. Nice little cars. Check that interior. Doesn't look too bad in there. You alright there, Lily? <laughs> I know she's looking for rabbits and mice and rats and everything else. She loves chasing them. But I'm not going to let her run around in here because there's uh, potentially a few bits you could get hurt on. Oh my God. Okay, I have just seen a way into the main barn, uh, just there, but before I go in there, I'm gonna have a look inside here. Look at the poor roof on this Saab. That to me looks like that's been done on purpose. Guys, look at this MG. Oh my God, I cannot believe that's here. Wow. And guys, look, there's a Porsche 924 parked just in front of this. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, just look at all of these cars in here. This is madness. Why, why are they here? Are they all project cars that somebody was planning on doing up? Okay, so I've managed to squeeze past the MG to have a look at this Porsche. Quite a nice colour actually. I like the wheels of it. The wheels are really cool. Oh yes, look at the interior. I love the interior. That is really, really cool. Oh, but it is such a shame it's been left here like this. Well, not just this, but all of these cars really. I mean, if this was me personally, if this was me, I would have sold something by now. You know, if I was gonna leave these cars here for this long, I really, really would have sold some. I cannot believe we've just found another BGT. This is crazy. These cars are so rare. And look, this door probably hasn't been opened in years, years and years and years. This one is actually in better condition than the other one, I think. But the other one's got the bulge on the bonnet. This one hasn't. 
Maisie Ferguson tractor, look. That's pretty cool. I do like an old tractor. There's something about an old tractor that really appeals to me. I don't know what it is. But this, now guys, come on, this. I love the 635i's. These are one of my favorite BMWs. I just love everything about them. And it does look as if that door is open. I'm just gonna pop my light on and have a little peek. Here we go. Who's left hand drive? Look at that. Do you know what? It's pretty nice inside there. 149,000 miles, I think, is on the clock. I mean, just look at that. Just stepping inside that car. I mean, you would feel very proud owning that, wouldn't you? Look at the dashboard. I just love everything. And I mean everything about these cars. They are so lovely. Oh, I could just dream about that all day. <laughs> Look at it, it's so nice. You've got another Jag here. This is a V12. It's a 3.6. That has got to be worth a lot of money. Seventy-seven thousand miles on the clock. Absolutely stunning, stunning car. Right. Okay. So let's go and have a look inside this barn and see what hidden gems we can find in there. Okay. So now we're going to take a look inside this barn, and I really do feel that this is going to be an incredible discovery. Right, Lily, you go there, sweetheart. <laughs> Stay there a minute. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a steady walk down here. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness me. Look at the old Escort. And it's a Cabriolet as well. Oh God, this is just so cool. Oh my God. This is... Well, as good as barn finds ever get, really. Little Land Rover. Oh, look, we've got a Morris convertible. Oh, that is so lovely. So there is a lot of MGs in here. The owner must have liked MGs. Because I've, I've seen well over 10 so far. And Jaguars as well. God, this is just so cool, it really is. Oh, look at the Mercedes. Look at that Mercedes, oh my God. I love that car. And look, we've got a little Mini. I've had so many Minis over the years. Look at that. That's a Jaguar engine, I think. Sure, there's a Jag, straight six. Do you know what, that little Mini doesn't really look too bad at all. I'm looking at all the common areas where they normally go, the doors are blown, scuttle panels, roof, I mean, everything looks really good on it. 205 convertible. Oh, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. MG there, my god. There's another 205. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this is so cool. So cool. Right, let's uh, take a walk around here. We'll go look at the other side. Okay, guys, so we're just going to have a quick wander around the other side. Got the old Rover there, look. 3.5 litre. Sheldon, I know you're going to be. Very excited over that. <laughs> Got a Range Rover here. 
even more Jaguars. Just look at the dust on these cars. It's absolutely, wow, it's just crazy, it really is. I mean, these have got been parked here, what, 20, 30 years? Oh, it's so lovely as well. They've just got such a lovely shape to them. Oh, I love all the old Jags. Some big bags here, I'm just gonna tread over. There's nothing inside of them at all. It's like an old net. It's like a fishing net. Is that a 205 GTI? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the dust on this car. It's crazy. Do you know, I've found quite a lot of GTIs just recently. Oh, look at that. Lovely straight six. Now, I know a few of you guys commented on my uh, recent video with the Porsche and I said it had a, a straight six in it. Now, obviously, it didn't have a straight six. You can see that when you're looking at it. But I said it just to see how many people would comment and how many people actually knew what they were looking at. So the way you can tell, very easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Straight six. Four cylinder, one, two, three, four. It's, it's so simple. So if any of you guys ever look at an engine you should be able to work out what type of engine it is. Obviously V8s, four either side, V12, six either side. Ugh. Do you know what? I don't think these doors have been opened in, I'd say over 20 years. Just guessing by everything that's outside. Look at the old Morris there. Absolutely madness, this really is. Right guys, I'm going to take some pictures in here quickly and then I'm going to jump outside and check out everything else which is outside. Okay guys, before we leave, obviously there's one more car that I want to have a look at. Now look at this Cadillac. Oh my God. It is like a boat. Why are they so big? I mean, look, it's probably the same size as my old Sprinter. Oh, do you know what? I, <laughs> I love these cars, I really do. But I don't think I could own one. I mean, just look how big it is. Imagine trying to park that thing. Very, very cool though. What's that little car there, look? It has Panther written on the mud flaps. Is that a kit car? I don't know, I honestly don't know. Guys, if you know what car that is, please pop it in the comments below. Cute little thing, I quite like that. Right, okay, let's uh, jump outside of here and go check out some more. Okay guys, so we're outside of the main barn now. Got an old Volkswagen caddy van here. Which I've always thought these wing mirrors look like Lamborghini Diablo wing mirrors. They've got the same sort of design to them. Got a little polo there. And look at this, how cool is that? Do you know what, if that was in better condition, that would make a really cool little camper van. I love Bedfords. Just look inside, look how overgrown it is in there. My God, oh, I don't know if I can get the camera in just about. Look at that, that's crazy. Nice little van, that's a bay as well. Look, it's got a bay roof on it. Wow. Okay, let's uh, carry on and see what else we can find here. Okay, so we're just having a look outside. What else is here? Oh, we've got another Land Rover. We've got a Volkswagen Golf GTI just here. My God. This is so crazy. So crazy. Look at the old Citroen. Wow. I love these. These are the ones that had the air uh, suspension on. used to go up and down. Do you know, they've aged really well, actually. I quite like those now. Never used to really be a fan of them. God, there's just so much here. Okay, so we've just come to the biggest collection of cars here. And oh my God, there's a Rolls Royce there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. 
Shame someone's uh, taken the lady off. Probably the owner though, to be honest. Wow, look at the old Citroen. That is so beautiful, but at the same time, it also looks like a spaceship. <laughs> wow. We've got a Sierra Estate, more Morrises. MG, look at that, 1600, oh my God. There's another 205 convertible. There's a Porsche 944 over there. Look at that, guys. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen so many Jaguars. Oh, Mercedes, look at the bonnet, look how that's rotted. Oh my God. It's a shame because they're worth quite a lot of money now, those 944s. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so we're in the second barn now. And I just don't know what to say. There is just so much stuff in here. It's a bit overwhelming to be honest, it really is. Struggling to move through here. Oh. Wow. There's a 500 SL there, I think. Or was it a 300 SL? Can't really tell. Nice little golf. Is that a Bentley? There's a Bentley. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Oh wow, look, there's a pink MG there, that's really cool. I'll probably talk to him. I'll see where I'm going. Wow. This is unbelievable. God, you can barely move through here. There is just cars everywhere. Look at the Jaguar E-type bonnets out there. Oh my God. Wow. Guys, it is just so jam-packed in here. Honestly, I cannot believe how much stuff is in here. Is that a Fiat 500? Hang on a minute. Yeah. That is a Fiat 500. And what's that? That's a Metro. That is a Metro. Is that a Metro Turbo? No, I don't think, I think it's an MG. <gasps> Hang on a minute. It's a 1300. Oh, I thought that was a Turbo for a minute then. Okay, so this car stood out a little bit for me. It's red. It's got some very straight lines on it. I'm dying to know what it is. It's a Lotus. It's a Lotus Esprit. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a Lotus Esprit in here and look, it is absolutely, I mean, this is criminal. Come on guys, what on earth is going on here? Oh my God. I just don't know what to say, I really don't. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna try and make my way out of here because to be honest with you, it's so jam packed in here, I can really, only walk on the path that, paths that have been left and they're not very big. I'm not gonna start climbing all over the cars because that's disrespectful. But look, there's another 924 there. Oh my God. How can you own so much stuff, really? This is just so mad, like, oh, what's that? Pigeon, the pigeon up in that corner. There's another Morris there. 
There's another Jaguar. And look at that one there. What on earth is that? Wow. <laughs> okay, guys, let's uh, jump. Oh my God, there's a Jensen Interceptor. There is a Jensen Interceptor. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe it. I really can't. I really, really can't believe that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So we're in yet another barn full of cars. Absolutely full of cars. Oh my God, that is not an Aston Martin. I just found an Aston Martin. I can't believe it. There's an Aston Martin in here. Oh my God, this is mad. This literally is just never ending. Never ending. Okay, so these next two cars are quite rare. These are Fiat Coupes, but I think this one especially is even rarer. Now the reason being is because it has an Abarth badge on it. If this is a real Abarth, this is going to be a very rare car and an extremely valuable car. What's that there? That's an old Morris. And yet another MG, another 205. I mean, look, it is literally just never ending. This place is absolutely amazing. It really is. I think we've seen most of it, guys. So I'm gonna run around, take some pictures, do all the Instagram stories, and we'll see you in a minute. Right guys, we are all done. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. And also go and check out the Facebook page. Like always, I'll put all the pictures on Facebook. Ten the best on Instagram. And we'll see you on the next video soon.